हेलो फ्रेंड्स दिस इज महेश शिवलेकर एंड यू आर वाचिंग नेक्स्ट चैन मैस इफ यू आर नॉट सब्सक्राइब माय चैनल देन प्लीज सब्सक्राइब द चैनल प्रेस द बेल आइकन इन दिस वीडियो वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस द प्रॉब्लम ऑफ सीएसआई नेट 52022 प्रॉब्लम ऑफ लीनियर एलजेब्रा द क्वेश्चन इज लेट m 3 cross 3 मैट्रिक्स 0 1 0 1 2 1 1 3 गिवन दैट 1 इज द आइगन वैल्यू ऑफ m which of the following statements is true? We again four option. First option is minus 2 is an eigenvalue of m. Second option is 3 is an eigenvalue of m. Third option, the eigenspace of each eigenvalue is dimension 1. And the fourth option, m is diagonalizable matrix. Solution. The first two option is about the eigenvalue of m. And the last two option is about the eigenvector of m. So here we are going to find the eigenvalue and eigenvector of matrix M. The given matrix M is 0, minus 1, 0, 1, 2, minus 1, 1, 1, 3. We have also given one of the eigenvalue of matrix M is 1. M is 3 cross 3 matrix. So it has 3 eigenvalues. Suppose lambda 1, lambda 2 and lambda 3. But one of the eigenvalues is given which is 1. So lambda 1 equal to 1. Now we try to find the other two eigenvalues lambda 2 and lambda 3. For that we are going to use the, some property of eigenvalues. So first property of eigenvalues product of eigenvalue is equal to determinant of matrix. So lambda 1 into lambda 2 into lambda 3 equal to determinant of m. Lambda 1 equal to 1 so 1 into lambda 2 into lambda 3 and determinant value of m is minus 1 into minus 1 3 plus 1 which will give the 4. So lambda 2 into lambda 3 equal to 4. Now another property of eigenvalue is sum of eigenvalue equal to trace of matrix. So lambda 1 plus lambda 2 plus lambda 3 equal to trace of m. So lambda 1 equal to 1. So 1 plus lambda 2 plus lambda 3 equal to trace of m is sum of its diagonal value which is 0 plus 2 plus 3 equal to 5. So lambda 1 plus lambda 2 plus lambda 3 equal to 5. So lambda 2 plus lambda 3 equal to 4. Now we have two equations lambda 2 into lambda 3 equal to 4 and lambda 2 plus lambda 3 equal to 4. We tried to find the lambda 2 and lambda 3 from these two equations. So for that we calculate square of lambda 2 minus lambda 3 equal to lambda 2 plus lambda 3 whole square minus 4 times lambda 2 into lambda 3. Lambda 2 plus 3 equal to 4 and lambda 2 into 3 equal to so 4 square minus 4 into 4 will give the 0. Therefore, lambda 2 minus lambda 3 whole square equal to 0, which will give lambda 2 equal to lambda 3. So lambda 2 equal to lambda 3, lambda 2 into lambda 3 equal to 4 and lambda 2 plus lambda 3 equal to 4. Therefore, it will give the lambda 2 equal to lambda 3 equal to 2. Hence, 1, 2, 2 are the eigenvalues of matrix M. But option 1 says that minus 2 is an eigenvalue of m which is wrong and option 2 says that 3 is an eigenvalue of m which is also false. So first and second option are the wrong option. Now for the next two option we need the eigenvectors of matrix m. 1, 2, 2 are the eigenvalues of matrix m. Here eigenvalue 1 occur only once therefore there is only one eigenvector associated with the eigenvalue 1. And hence, the eigenspace of an eigenvalue 1 has dimension 1. So we are not going to find the eigenvector associated to the 1, but its eigenspace at dimension 1 because it contains only one independent eigenvector as eigenvalue occurred only once. Now, the second eigenvalue 2 is occurred twice. So we need to find the its eigenvector. We cannot predict how many eigenvectors associated with the 2. The eigenvectors of eigenvalue 2 are the solution of system of linear equation m minus 2i into x equal to 0. So m minus 2i, here i is a identity matrix of order 3 cross 3. So m minus 2i can be obtained by subtracting minus 2 from the diagonal entries of matrix m. So 0 minus 2 is minus 2, 2 minus 2 is 0 and 3 minus 2 is 1 and other values are the same into x y z equal to 0 0 0. 
to solve this system of linear equation we are going to use the gauss jordan elimination method so a augmented with the zero minus two minus one zero zero one zero minus one zero one 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 zero now apply the row operation and convert into the reduced row equation form then we have one zero minus one zero one two and zero 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 it will give the equation x minus z equal to zero y plus two z equal to zero therefore we have x equal to z and y equal to minus two z therefore the solution capital x equal to x y z x equal to z y equal to minus two z and z equal to z so z into one minus two one so one minus two one is an eigen vector associated with the eigen value lambda equal to two therefore eigen space of eigen value two equal to z into one minus two one z belongs to r there is only one eigen vector in the eigen space of eigen value two therefore the dimension of eigen space of eigen value two is one hence the dimension of eigen space of both the eigen value is one therefore the option number three is the correct option which is the eigen space of each eigen value as dimension one now for the option number four algebraic multiplicity of eigen value two is two and geometric multiplicity of eigen value two is one therefore algebraic multiplicity and geometric multiplicity are not equal for the eigen value two hence matrix m is not diagonalizable because matrix m is diagonalizable only when the algebraic multiplicity and geometric multiplicity are equal for all eigen values in our case they are not equal for the eigen value 2 therefore m is not an diagonalizable matrix so option number 4 is the wrong option option number 3 is only the correct option thanks for watching for more videos like share subscribe press the bell icon of next gen mess